Every child deserves a safe place to call home. For some, that comes from foster families. Currently in West Virginia, there's a shortage of foster parents. A statewide campaign to recruit more foster families is launching to help fill those gaps. I'm joined today by Kylie Hassan to tell us more about everything we need to know. Kylie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. And you are the marketing director for Mission West Virginia, is that correct? That's correct, yes. So what is Mission West Virginia? So Mission West Virginia is a nonprofit. Um, we are tasked by the department to lead statewide recruitment of foster families in West Virginia. Um, so our programming is kind of the first step when someone is interested in foster care or okay. adoption in West Virginia. Mm -hmm. We um, serve all 55 counties in the state. Oh, wow. So when someone calls and they have questions or concerns about starting foster parenting, we can help put those fears at ease. We can answer any questions they may have and then get them county specific information to get them started with the foster care agency in their county. So you're like the one-stop shop basically yes that's what we kind of <laughs> like to call ourselves <laughs> that is amazing and so when it comes to becoming a foster parent who who can become one so um, there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to foster parenting but you can be single you mm -hmm. can be married you can be um, a same-sex couple um, as long as everyone in the home can pass um, a safety background check mm -hmm. um, free of abuse neglect charges of course mm -hmm. um, you can rent your home, you can own your home. Oh, wow. um, so there are a lot of things that um, the foster care agencies are willing to work with you, right. but those are kind of the, the Fine core. details. Yes. yes. So a lot of yes. flexibility, it seems like. Yes. And what does that process look like of when they decide they want to become one to actually becoming one? So sometimes we talk to people um, as like the first step for, you know, maybe a year or more. Yeah. Um, some people are ready to go. Um, and if they are ready, we can help them get yeah. started with that process. Um, if they are just kind of, you know, dipping their toes in the water and mm -hmm. want to learn more, um, we stay with a family up until they're certified with an agency. So okay. once they talk to us, they kind of get what they want um, mm -hmm. out of that. They have a, all a list of all the agencies that serve their county. Mm -hmm. They will then pick one of those foster care agencies and kind of call them, see if it's the right fit for their family. Then they will start pride classes. Okay. So they will start some um, foster care training courses. That may take six to eight weeks, okay. uh, depending on the agency. Um, and at that point, they will do a home study and then they will get certified with their agency to welcome children into their home. And real quickly, we have about 30 seconds left. Well, like I said, there seems to be a shortage in foster parents in West Virginia right now. Absolutely. What does that shortage impact when it comes to the children and the services in our area? So the children are the ones that it impacts the most. Those children are lingering in the system without any type of permanency. So whether they decide that it's safe to return home to their families of origin, um, but permanency is always the, the next step. So we really want children to find that with a foster parent or by going home. So foster parents can provide that safe place for children. And I know that West Virginia is launching a statewide recruitment campaign right now to help fill those gaps in foster parents and you're going to be coming back on in just a little bit to tell us more about that campaign. So if you guys want to learn more about that, make sure to stay tuned. We'll have that coming up after this break.